After a year absence, the ASCO netball competition returned to the Gome hard court. The competition opened on Saturday and saw the parade and inspection of competing teams complemented with music from the RSVG Police Force Band. Saturday's opening was addressed by Mr. Dennisford Forster, President of ASCO, Mr. Godfrey Harry, President of the SVGNA, and Junior Minister of Sports, Senator Cecil Mackey. Newcomers to the competition, AJ Blockmaking Ian Allen's Secret Clickers was adjudged the best dressed team. Sea Operation Now Friendem was second, and Gary Construction Glad Tidings Tabernacle was third. In the best banner competition, Sea Operation Now Friendem placed first, Yanja Young Strugglers was second, and AJ Blockmaking Ian Allen Secret Clickers third. In the opening games, Yanja Young Strugglers whipped AJ Blockmaking Ian Allen Secret Clickers 42 22, and Pace Setters humbled a select team 47 32. Teams in the Sion Hill netball and football competitions have been promised $1,000 in prizes for best discipline. The promise came from opposition leader Honorable Anim Eustace. Speaking at the opening of the Sion Hill Intervillage Football Saturday, he told the teams gathered he will continue to sponsor the Best Disciplined Team Award. Such a team will receive $300, while the most disciplined players will walk away with $200. The next day, Sunday, the same amount was promised to the best disciplined team in netball and the same amount for the most disciplined player in the Sion Hill netball competition. Jamaica's junior reggae boys have booked their place in the CONCACAF final round of qualifying for the FIFA Under-20 World Cup following their 2-0 win over Guyana's junior Golden Jaguars at the Guyana National Stadium Providence Sunday night. The win for the Jamaicans ensured they won the group outright, recording wins over Grenada 6-1 and the United States Virgin Islands 13-0, scoring a total of 21 goals and conceding just a solitary one. Guyana will have to play the group runners-up of Groups A, Cuba, St. Kitts and Nevis, Netherlands Antilles and British Virgin Islands, kicking off November 7th. Group B, now a three-team playoff between Guadeloupe, Bermuda and Antigua and Barbuda, commencing October 20th, Haiti pulling out of the group. Group D features Suriname, Aruba, Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago Cricket Board President Asim Basarath has called for the performance-related contracts and scholarships to be awarded to players if the Trinidad and Tobago brand of cricket is to be recognized worldwide. Speaking at the annual TTCB prize distribution ceremony, which for the first time ever combined with the award distribution of the Trinidad and Tobago Women's Cricket Board at Center Point Mall Chiguanas on Saturday, the local cricket boss reminded all that this country is on the threshold of becoming a valuable brand in world cricket. And he noted that, quote, once supported by government, we intend to enter the portals of highly recognized and potentially lucrative positions such as Brazil's association with football, Australia in swimming, and Africa in distance running, among many others." Unquote. This opportunity came partly because of the country's performances at the Airtel 2020 Champions League in India later last year, in which the Darren Ganga-led TNT team finished runners-up. In addition, the TNT players have consistently shown potential of becoming world beaters following their successes at the West Indies Cricket Board sanctioned tournaments for all age divisions and formats of the game. The International Olympic Committee should oversee a worldwide harmonization of controls on sports betting, the urgency for action necessitated by the internet gambling explosion. That proposal was launched at Sportel Monaco by Denis Maseglia, president of the French National Olympic Committee. During a roundtable debate on the issue, he said, quote, all sides mostly agree on the need for international harmonization of sports betting controls because the Internet knows no, bo no borders. Sorry. If the rules are different in one country compared with another, then sports credibility will be affected. This has been another edition of your IKTV News Update. I'm Lafern Fraser. Thanks for watching. From all of us here at IKTV, have a great evening.